Welcome back. The 2022 season was a whirlwind for their first for the Tigers' first year head coach and players. How do things look for this year? Scott Nolte has a story from Tigertown. Mike Kernick took over the Shady Side program in early August of 2022, just after camp had opened, which led both he and his staff playing catch up all year. Now, with a full season under his belt, both the players and coaches feel a lot more comfortable and are ready to get Shady Side football back to where it belongs. You're right. Having the experience of having a bunch of guys back from last year is a huge benefit and a huge help. And our senior class is a great bunch of leaders. So anytime you have a group of seniors where their leadership is that good, it always makes things a lot easier and it's nice to have. Well, there's a lot of tradition with it. So, I mean, losing isn't uh, acceptable. That's why after a year like last year, you know, everybody's frustrated. You just get to work. You come back up here, you go as hard as you can every day, and you turn it around. To try and turn it around, the Tigers are blessed with a number of key returners, starting with senior Ben Wash at quarterback and safety, senior Carl Tesaurus at tailback and linebacker, the senior Booth twins, Dylan and Nathan, both at receiver, and Dylan at corner and Nathan at D end. Junior Cole Micker returns at receiver and linebacker, with senior Mark Wagner at fullback and linebacker. Fellow senior Hayden Keen will see time at fullback and defensive end. Along the line, senior Colton Gorby returns at tackle and middle linebacker. Junior Derek Russell returns at center. And fellow junior Anthony Forgus is on the offensive and defensive line. Ian Weatherson, Landon Prickett, Chris Stillian, and Alex Olak will share time on the D-line. Juniors Caden Nippert and Caden Baker also figure in with the receivers and defensive backs while freshman Ace Nelson will work in at fullback and linebacker. Wash says he's seen commitment and improvement. Uh, we've been working hard in the offseason, lifting, running, and now that we're able to hit, it's been going good. The biggest focus that we have tried to instill into these guys is being physical. You know, we play a lot of bigger teams, we play a lot of physical teams, and we need to match their physicality which is why we have really been pushing and pushing the weight room on those guys. The Tigers face the first test of the season when they host Martins Ferry on the 18th. High school football previews in the 7 Sports Zone, brought to you by The Health Plan.